Alright, yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Nuck, and everybody else is doing it, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do my Battlefield 3 beta video. And as you can see on that scoreboard, Smooth just wrecked it. He was on the other team. And uh, we actually started this game out. Uh, we were on the same squad, and we just started beasting too much, man. After we, after we figured it out and got a, a lie to land, I guess, uh, we just really started feasting and it was games were going going by fast and EA decided to split us up man they, they split us up but we had party chat going so uh, you know we still remained in contact and it was just it was crazy man I, I swear if you if you could have heard us it was like two kids in a candy store we were just really giddy and uh, you know excited really about the graphics and the gameplay and it's different you know what I mean there's always a learning curve with any new game that comes out you're not gonna come out beasting you know uh, 95 percent of the time it's just you got to get to know something and you got to get the hang of it before you can you know stake your claim and uh, and really mark your territory and leave your footprint on where you stand in the game so I mean that's how I feel about it and especially this being a beta there's gonna be glitches and they're gonna fix a lot of those glitches that's why it's up to us to play these betas and figure that stuff out and give them feedback because how are they gonna know what to fix if uh, if we don't give them feedback so I mean that's my thoughts on that but this game I mean it's an excellent game here's a little nice uh, two-piece that I uh, that I got in after they set the charge I think that's smooth over there trying to set the charges too he was getting his sneaky sneak on but um, I mean it's just it, it's a really good game it's a nice break from black ops and watch the somersault <laughs> why are you somersaulting was was my was my gun that sick? It turned you into a gymnast? Is this like a, a zombie gun? I got the, the gymnast zombie ray or what? <laughs> but um, like I said, man, I mean, there's going to be glitches in the beta. So, you know, it is what it is. You got to take it for what it's worth. So at this point in the game, you know, the enemy team destroyed both points. And we're about to go into eat fresh mode. And for those of you that don't eat healthy, that's Subway. <laughs> that's the Subway slogan. So it's Subway time. We're going in the Subway. We blew the hole in the ground. And it's really crazy, man. I, I, I don't know if, um, you know, if uh, you guys have played this yet, but there's, like, parental advisory on this game, man. They they get down and gritty, and they, they say what's on their mind, man. It's like real war, and I kind of like that, man. The sound of the guns, the little dude in your uh in your radio in your ear at all times it's just it's, it was really well thought out and um you know i played medal of honor i've played Homefront, and just nothing compares to this i mean this would be the only legitimate cod killer out there oh and this is where i try to flank them and my rpg fails so you know when when all else fails you just got to go on foot and put on some groundwork so you know i had to hit up infantry mode after everything i did failed and that brings me to another point i kind of like how the rpgs aren't too overpowered in this because then it's just another modern warfare 2 and everybody's going to be rpging and grenading so you know i'm actually kind of digging that and i'm glad my rpg failed at this point but um yeah man just really the graphics were amazing at some points it was a little too dark but i think you know you could just adjust your settings and whatnot and uh one of the things i noticed man i be killing them with this with this zombie gun man i'm telling you i got the gymnastic somersault ray gun or something but, uh, you know uh one thing that i noticed in the subway was uh was they had flashlights they had laser beams uh, for the red dot like you could actually see the laser coming out of the gun so that was pretty cool and you could toggle and turn your laser beam off if you wanted so that was really dope and uh, real quick at this point you know they were trying to take it over so I went in there and tried to rescue and, and save the spot and look what happens smooth so you know I couldn't go out like that I had to try to go and get him back so you know i had to make up my mission i was like i can't go out like that 
that smooth get me like that when I'm when I'm trying to go in there and and, and handle the objective. So you know that that's that's my mission at this point. I'm running back and I'm like, okay, I got something for you, smooth. He had me laughing the whole time. I couldn't even focus. So finally, you know, I had to pull out my my Call of Duty tricks and hit him with that afterlife, you know, because that always works. That afterlife kill. <laughs> You dig? <laughs> like I had a Marty Dome in Battlefield 3 or something. But um, no, so one thing I noticed though in the subway was there was like flashlights and your uh, your red dot laser beam. And uh, oh yeah, I had to get the legit kill on Mr. Smooth because uh, you know I had to eaten it up. I couldn't let him have the best of me. So anyhow, um, to, to toggle it off because you don't want to always have your laser side on because your enemies can see that so it's almost like a giveaway to your position it's like yo all you gotta do is follow this red laser beam and it will lead you right to me I can throw a grenade or whatever so you know it's good to be able to toggle it off and uh, to do that you just hit up on the d-pad um, another thing was um, was pulling out your RPG if you're running the engineer class or your rocket launcher or whatever that's left on the d-pad so there was a few things like that that I had to get used to but I mean you know there's gonna be different controls in different games you just got to get used to it so you know overall my overall assessment of the game um, unfortunately all I have was this beta to go off because of I've never played battlefield ever in my life before but I like it I see the potential in the game it's a really good game and you definitely got to have a squad though if you have a squad then you'll be straight everybody will have their role you know I didn't even get to try vehicles out yet so I'm actually looking forward to that kind of excited to see what uh, what what that aspect of the game brings to the table now one thing I didn't know is that there were perks in Battlefield 3 and you're about to see the uh, the quicksand perk coming up here where my dude is basically stuck in in quicksand and uh, only half of his body is showing. It, it, I, I didn't know there were perks, so that's pretty cool. That's a that's a pretty cool perk, I guess. I mean, uh, that might be kind of cool to use. I don't know. So uh, I'm just playing. No, no quicksand perks, guys. But um, yeah, so I will definitely be, be purchasing Battlefield 3 for sure. Um, Currently, I think I'm just going to get on the Xbox because I know a few of my friends uh, will be getting this on the Xbox 360. And like I said, you want to have people to play with. You don't want to just kind of go in there solo and not have a rapport with your team. It's just this game is not, not that type of game. If you want to do that, then just stick with Modern Warfare 3 and that's it. But if you really want to get some team game going and you got a, a decent crew that's willing to accept roles and everything, I think this will, this this has the potential to be a great game. I'm really looking forward to, to just, you know, messing around with it and, and putting up some footage. It's just longer gameplay, though. I mean, there was about four maps put into one on this beta. And, uh, you know, after you destroy a certain section, you go into another map. And then after you destroy that section, you go into another map. And then after you destroy that section, you go into a fourth map. But the maps were so beautiful uh, in color and they looked great. You know, it just it really kept me intrigued. I mean, this is the only maps or map or round that's available on the beta, yet I can't stop playing and I really enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of getting used to it, really. So I'm curious to know what all of you think. So definitely leave your comments down below and uh, got a little bit of scoreboard action for you for you all to check out uh, <laughs> I, uh, I got one more kill than, uh, than Mr. Smooth uh, I think I, I think we had the same amount of deaths and uh, he was doing his thing though man he was he was setting those charges and, and playing the objectives just like you're supposed to be while I was almost kind of trying to play some team deathmatch so I mean I've had games where I, where I had 20 kills on here or whatnot 20 plus so you know that's what it is I hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh, definitely hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think it's your boy Jay Nuck and I'm out this piece peace